Oh, wow. Sheep's head. Wow, there's sheep's head down here. That thing was huge. Oh my god, okay. Game on. It's, it's October, I don't know, October the 3rd, I think. It's a Saturday morning. It's fall, it's crisp, it's clean, the water's warm. A bunch of people on the beach, we're getting ready to go catch some fish. Who knows what kind of fish? I don't know. We'll see on the water. So what do you think, Gabe? You think we're gonna do all right today? Well, I hope so. He's, he's like a Let's player. see what you got. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. No, 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 no. Not nothing, nothing. No. <laughs> He's gonna put that all, all over the internet. Oh, are ya? Well, tell us, everybody knows there's white sea bass out here. Did you see my white sea bass? No, no, I just pulled from the fish. Oh! Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. Fine. I size red. I size red. I had no idea I'd be rock fishing today. Oh well. I'm having a blast. It's fall. It's rock fish time. Oh, wow. How sweet is that? Take a look at that. Wow. Here we go. <laughs> Yeehaw. Oh, 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 there's a little honey hole down here, man. It's producing. Look at that. Oh, a white fish. That is Sweet. Look at the size of that white fish. I forgot how fun rock fishing is. Look at that. Beautiful. There we go, Rockfish City. End of the day, end of the day. Great Saturday for Gabe and I. Uh, we didn't know what to expect today. We had tons of bait. What about that bait today, Gabe? Uh, well, we were just too nervous. We didn't want to eat them. We spent two or three hours chasing bait. Well, it is October, almost the end of the uh, the year, or the uh, yellowtail bonanza. But uh, uh, there's still some out there. They, they weren't around today, though. But, but we caught rockfish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We caught rockfish. So God gave us lemons. We got to go home and make lemonade. Yeah, I'm thinking about soup. Maybe some rockfish soup. Hey gang, this is Yanni. You guys are inside the fisherman's belly. I'm inside your computer, and today we're gonna do a very basic fish soup. It's gonna be made with rockfish because just the other day out in La Jolla, Gabe and I caught a ton of rockfish. It wasn't really our intentions, but the big fish, they didn't come out and play, so we saw a bunch of lobster buoys, and they're all over the reefs, and the rockfish are all over the reefs. So we went for it, we had the time of our lives, and both came home with a ton of rockfish. Today, you guys are gonna learn the basics of fish soup. We're gonna start off by making a fish stock. That'll take us about 45 minutes. And then after that, we're gonna create the soup in a different pot, and that'll take another 45 minutes. And believe me, we will be in heaven. So get ready, here we go. You guys are in the belly, and we're gonna be making fish soup today. Rule number one, always start off with cold liquid. So, with our fish stock, we're gonna start off with one bottle of wine, and this is Sauvignon Blanc. Again, no Chardonnay, or Riesling, or any sweet wine like that. So we're gonna start off with one bottle of wine, and then, just to make it simple, we're gonna fill this bottle of wine up with cold water four times. So it's gonna be one bottle of wine and four bottles of cold water and four. Four tablespoons of salt. Two tablespoons of black pepper. One onion cut in half. Three medium-sized pieces of carrots. Three stalks. Three stalks of celery. The juice of two lemons. And last but not least, the fish carcasses. Okay, so as you can tell, I have filleted the fish and of course gutted them and gilled them. And uh, with the fillets, I've skinned them and I've chopped up the fillets, I've got them in the refrigerator. So now, this is the golden element right here to create our fish stock, the carcasses. 
Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna let this come to a boil. And that should happen in about 10, 15 minutes. After it comes to a boil, then I'm gonna turn down the heat and let it simmer. And at that point in time, I'm gonna add a... Remember this from last week, a half a bottle of saffron? I'm gonna add the saffron when I simmer it. And I'm also gonna add, and I'm also gonna add this bundle of parsley in there. And again, I don't wanna add either one of these during high temperatures, during the high temperatures when it's boiling, because I don't wanna make the parsley bitter and I don't wanna make the saffron bitter. So that's another key. All right, gang, it's, it's been about 15 minutes. This came to a boil. I, I moved it aside. I put it down to a, a simmer. Now it's time to introduce the parsley. Opa. And the saffron. Here's the saffron. And I'm gonna let this simmer for exactly, opa, there's a half a bottle of saffron. I'm gonna let this simmer exactly for half an hour. In the meantime, I am gonna start creating the base of our soup. Here's the chicken stock, I mean, here's the fish stock. And once the fish stock's done, then it's gonna go into this pot here where we're gonna assemble the soup. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna saute our mirepoix. Our mirepoix being chopped onions, chopped carrots, chopped celery. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, I've got the fire on in here and I'm gonna add two tablespoons of olive oil. Opa. I've already chopped up my onions and my carrots. So here goes the onions. Here go the carrots. And let me get the celery. Here's the celery. A pinch of salt. Oh my goodness, pinch of pepper. Boy, you guys are learning the basics of soup making. This is, this is really good. There we go. Now this will take anywhere from five to 10 to maybe 15 minutes to saute these and wilt them down. Just allow them to start getting some color. And by the time this is done, We'll shut down the heat and we'll wait for this to complete. And then when this completes, the stock completes, we'll pour the stock in here. Then after that, we'll add our potatoes, let that cook for a while, then we'll add our fish and we'll be done. It's just that easy. And believe me, it's just gonna, I can smell this right now. I wish you guys could smell it just, oh. Wow, I can smell that saffron already. That's insane. All right, gang, it's been about a half an hour that the fish stock has been simmering because I'm getting ready to pour the fish stock through this col colander into my bowl that I'm creating the fish soup in. But the first thing I need to do, the first thing I need to do is I need to sample the fish stock for saltiness, for overall seasoning. So before I even start thinking about making my soup. Wow, that's perfect. That's perfect because, you know, you've got evaporation going on and so you always have to check for saltiness all throughout the whole cooking process and never, ever, ever wait to add salt at the end of your cooking. It just doesn't work that way. Wow. Wow. Look at that, look at that, that's awesome. Okay, well I've got about seven or eight of these Yukon Gold Potatoes, I'm gonna dice these up and I'm gonna add them in here and that's the next step because these potatoes will take at least 20 minutes to cook. So I'll check for tenderness on the potatoes and then add my fish and that'll be that, unbelievable. Hmm. Oh yeah, okay. The potatoes are cooked, so now it's time to introduce the fish. Rockfish fillets cut up into nice pieces. It's 
So I'm going to turn up the heat a little bit because these are ice cold and it's dropping the temperature of our soup. And then I'm only going to let this cook for five, ten minutes at the most. That's all it takes. What was that? I know what that was. That's toast. We got sourdough toast. Of course. Oh boy, look at that. Look at this. We're going to have some... Wait till you see. Wait till you see what I do with this toast. We're going to take some honest to goodness real butter. And we're going to butter these guys up. Unsalted butter, of course. Unsalted butter. Then we're going to add some Parmesan cheese. Oh my God. I mean, after all, what's a soup without a good hearty bread? Parmesan cheese and flip it right over. Awesome. Oh my God, this smells so good. Oh, anyway, anyway. Okay. That goes off. The soup is done. One last thing for the soup, and that is chopped up dill. So you always want to add a nice fresh herb to your soup, but always at the very, very end, because otherwise you'll just turn it into mush. So I've got some chopped up, I've got some chopped up dill right for the soup, and it's ready to serve. All right, so we added the dill at the very end, and here we go, fellas. Look at this. Huh. Oh my god. Okay. Rockfish soup. So here you have it, fellas. Next time you go out fishing and you come home with some rockfish, save those carcasses, go in the kitchen and make yourself some rockfish soup. You'll be glad you did, and I'll tell you what. You share this with friends and family, and there's only one thing they'll say to you. Run back out there and go get some more fish. This is Yanni. You guys are inside the belly. We'll see you soon.